Hello, you've reached another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today I only have one problem, and it's a word problem from lesson number three, where we start working with multi-step problems involving the area and perimeter uh, formulas that we've begun to work with here in module number three. So let's take a look in our read, draw, write strategy at number two. Alexis has a rectangular piece of red paper that is four centimeters wide. Its length is twice its width. I'm going to pause there and see if I can start to draw uh, what we know so far. We have a red piece of paper that is four centimeters wide, four centimeters wide, and whose length is twice its width. So let's see if it's twice its width and it's four centimeters wide, I think that makes this eight centimeters long. I like that looks good so far. Let's take a look at the rest of the problem. She glues a rectangular piece of blue paper on top of the red piece, measuring three centimeters by seven centimeters. Okay, again, let's see what we've got. We've got a blue rectangle that is three centimeters by seven centimeters. And let's get to the last part of our question. How many cent square centimeters of red paper will be visible on top? So it looks like we're going to have to sort of merge these two square, these two rectangles together. So let's go, go ahead and try to draw them in a larger way here on the page. We've got a 4 by 8 rectangle. And let's mark off, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4 units there on the side. And we'll try to mark off 8 units here on the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Excellent. I think we'd agree that that is a 4 centimeter by 8 centimeter rectangle. Now let's switch to the blue rectangle. and We know we need to mark a blue rectangle that is 1, 2, 3 centimeters by 7 centimeters. And the way I'm counting that out is the 1, 2, 3 on the left hand side. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's seven centimeters on this side. And again, we're kind of drawing over those lines. So that is a three by seven centimeter rectangle. And then we get to the final part of our question. How many square centimeters of red paper will be visible on top? Well, we have to look down here. It looks like we only have one square left at the bottom here. So it looks to me like, and I'm just going to make little hashes with a black, looks to me like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but then we have a few more here along the right hand side. We have three more. One, two, three. So if we add those up, I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So my tentative answer is eleven square centimeters that we have uh, visible on top. Let's see if there's another way that we can solve this problem. Let's say if we looked at the area of the red rectangle. In fact, let me actually switch to red pen and say the area of our red rectangle is the length times the width. That area is 4 times 8 or 32 square centimeters. And what if we looked at the area of our blue rectangle? That would be length times width as well. That would equal 7 times 3. I'm sorry, 7 times 3 would look more like 7 times 3, or 21 square centimeters. And if we were to subtract the blue rectangle from the red rectangle, it looks to me like we would have 32 square centimeters minus 21 square centimeters, sorry, centimeters. And that does, in fact, look like 11 square centimeters, which looks like it confirms the answer we got before. So I think we would write as our final stage 11 square centimeters of red would be visible. Again, apologize for my handwriting with this stylus. I'm going to find a better stylus. But that looks to me like that would summarize our answer. 
that 11 square centimeters would be visible on top once we've put the blue rectangle over the red rectangle. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Mr. Kung Has Problems. Good luck with your homework.